the principles work in that if you put in the work, if you are eating well, if you're exercising and doing it and doing like what you should be doing, you can have success. And my pastor said something that I've always repeated to myself. In fact, I said it during the race. You'll win if you don't quit. Welcome to the Spartan Decca series on Spartan Up with Jared Cogswell, Director of Sport, and Yancey Culp, Director of Programming. What's up, Spartans? Welcome to the Decca series on the Spartan Up podcast. I'm your co-host, Jared Cogswell, along with my brother, Yancey Culp. And today, hey, we've got a man that has inspired millions of men and women to eat healthy and stay fit with his popular website, social channels, and YouTube channel called Fit Men Cook. And his name is no other than Kevin Curry. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by Duralane, a single injection that may provide up to six months relief from osteoarthritis knee pain. Risks can include general knee pain and pain at the injection site. You can see full prescribing information at Duralane.com. We, we talk about celebrating fitness all the time. You know, seeing you on that, that podium and that picture um, on your Instagram page was, was, was just awesome to us. This has been a year and a half in the making, and, and you were there to make history with us. And, and we didn't know each other at the time. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, when I saw it, I, I was smiling. I, I was like, man, this, this guy gets it. And um, tell us, if you would, your DecaFit experience in Dallas. Yep, there it is, man. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I love that race, to be honest with you. And um, so the way I found out about it is I had just finished up a triathlon about two weeks prior to this race. And I literally had like that same day that I finished it, I couldn't go to sleep. I was up around like 3 a.m. And I said, God, I want something more. I don't want to run just like a boring 5K, but I need to work on my speed. And so I just looked in, I think it was, um, gosh, races.com or something like that. And I filtered in Dallas and it said Deca Fit. And I was like, what in the world is this? And I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is a fun 5K. <laughs> and I text my trainer, <laughs> my buddy, <laughs> I said, yo, we got to do this race. We got to do it in two weeks. And he saw, he's like, heck yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And then we got two other people to do it, you know, as well. I, what I love about it is that it's, it's challenging, but it's, it's, um, it's as hard as you make it. It's as hard or as intense as you make it, meaning like you can really haul it. And, and run really hard around that track. And let me tell you, 500 meters, it sounds so small, but whoo, after, <laughs> after that first lap and doing 30 lunges with that 45 pound um, you know, bar, like yeah. your legs are already kind of like jelly, but it just, it's, it's designed so that you can push yourself as hard as you want. I actually have an idea for y'all. <laughs> I've been thinking about this, like literally. All right, here, so here's my pitch. Let's do this again. But I also want another section of the race called Deca Tag. And Deca Tag is this. All right, here it is. You get two people, all right? You have the event set up already, and it's a strategy to find out how quickly like, you can go ahead and get this done. So, so like, between the two people, all right? So maybe some person is better at running or doing like the ball toss or whatnot. They, they would do those things, but, but, you know, like, but to qualify for it, you have to be able to do the race in under 40 minutes. And it's just two people and y'all have to figure it out. Who's going to do like which part, the running, the different things. And I just think it would be dope because me and my trainer were thinking like, that would be a great way to really push us both because we'd have to be really hauling it to make it in 40 minutes. And it's just another way to have another type of competition between um, gyms and people and friends and stuff. Absolutely, man. I can tell you, as the, the co-creators, Jared and I literally created DECA from Dust. We love the ideas, man. That's one of our <laughs> tests. We've had 100 events inside gyms across the country, but we love It's such a great ideas, idea. Man. We love the ideas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, all, we're always thinking of... Go ahead. 100% of the open... Cat, it meant a lot to me when you said 
it, it's you versus you. It's basically whatever you want to make of the event. Yeah. What if I told you that we had 100% completion with the open category? And I mean, all those people that are 50 to 100. Oh, you did? Every single one. That of is awesome. You know, it, and if you've never been out to one of these races and you're listening to this, you should definitely go because I brought my girlfriend <laughs> And her her big thing, everyone starts somewhere. She's like, I want to be able to run a 5K with a 10-minute mile. So that's what she's prepping for. And then she saw the race. She's like, I am definitely not shaped to do this. She saw some other people there who were, like, sweating it out. I mean, in different physical conditions. And she said, oh, I have no excuses. I need to get up and get to moving. It is completely inspirational if you've never been you will literally want to lace up your shoes right there and jump in the race because everybody it's not intimidating you see people across the gamut i saw a person who was doing it twice that day i'm not sure what he was doing <laughs> he's not a, we're not in the same page we're not in the same category and i also saw some person just like me who was just like hey i'm gonna try this out and we really do this but it's it's one of those places where where like you see people's love for fitness being celebrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much for for saying that. That's that is one of our mantras, and you know we don't care if you run it, walk it, jog it. We just want you to get yep. your mark. We want you to climb your mountain, swim your ocean, whatever it is. And yeah. uh, celebrating fitness is is what it's all about. Um, last question I have for you, Kevin. Um, you know, you've accomplished a lot since you since you started this. Um, what are your future goals for your for yourself personally? Because I think you walk the talk. I think that's what's so cool about you is you don't just coach it, you live it. And yeah. and where do you want to go professionally with this? Yeah, well, you know, the reason why I wanted to do this deck of fit is um, my 40th is coming up. Uh, and I told myself that I want to be in some of the best shape of my entire life. And so doing this, doing that event actually was a really big like boost to me because it's something that I just kind of like walked into. Um, and the fact that I was able to complete it just meant a lot. So wh where I'm going with this is pretty much the same. As I get older, I want to see how I can push myself. One person that has like super inspired me, like watching LeBron and Tom Brady, when I tell you, when I when I saw Tom like <laughs> pack up his stuff after winning the Super Bowl and was acting like he was ready for like another round, it's like that's how I want to be at that age. Like just 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 giving these youngsters a run for like for their money, and I think it just it it, it just set off this fire like inside of me to say, Kev, your life is not over. You know, there, there's so much more that you can accomplish, and there's so much more that you can do. And I think that for some reason in my mind, I had turned off a little, you know, Kev, you're getting older now, just settle down. Why not? Why, why can't I turn it up? Of course, I need a lot more maintenance, but, but, but I can definitely, you know, I push myself. Um, so that's where I'm going, like, you know, like with my fitness, exploring other ways to, to really see how I can push myself um, to be the most powerful, the strongest, the fastest that I've ever been in my entire life. Professionally, I want to be able to help people in ways that I haven't been able to before. So, you know, coming out with different products, I know we're selling teas and some spices that, you know, that have been doing really well. Um, uh, we're coming out with other stuff that I believe is going to help people. Like I've talked about it, mental health and mental health is such a huge part of my story that now we're helping. Now we're trying to develop products to help people, like mm -hmm. to help people to feel better. When I tell you that I have a heart for that, man, I I honestly do because I know what that feels like. Like I know what it feels like to not feel okay, to not feel at your best, to not feel like yourself, but you want to be and you don't know how to um, you know, help. And so I hope by sharing my story these past few years that I have been able to be blessed to, you know, to do blogging doing stuff like the race and publicizing it is putting that message out there to people that um as as somebody that you know once told me is that the principles work in that if you put in the work if you are eating well 
if you're exercising and doing it and doing like what you should be doing, you can have success. And my pastor said something that I've always repeated to myself. In fact, I said it during the race. You'll win if you don't quit. Mm-hmm. And, when, and when you finally really get that quote, when you really understand like what that means, you will be energized for the long haul. You'll win if you don't quit. Yancey talks about mic drops all the time. And I'm going to say that one for him because I know he was thinking it, but yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll win it if you don't quit. So that, that is awesome, man. My, my last thing is, and I, and I speak for all of us at Spartan when, when, I, when I say this, I know every one of them, all of us would echo what I'm about to say, is that we want to, our CEO is radically passionate about improving 100 million lives. And, yeah. and I just want to thank you for, for allowing us to, to collaborate with you today. Thank you for uh, thank you for doing your part. It's like you're on that journey with us before we yeah. even knew, for, before Kevin Curry knew Spartan. Spartan <laughs> we're all on the exact same mission. So thank you for, for collaborating with us. And I would, I would say please feel free to lean in on Spartan in any way. And DECA, oh. if we can help you in any thank way, you. if you have some – Something going on in your world is like, you know, those guys, that's a powerful team. They might be able to help me, please. Because, man, what I'll say about our CEO is if you're on the same mission, dude, we're on the team together. All that right. Team, I love it. <laughs> so, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to take you up on that. I've got a lot of ideas. <laughs> Let's go. We would say the same thing. Let's go. Hey, Kevin, hey. Uh, just to conclude, hey, thank you. Um, I mean that sincerely. You are truly making a positive impact on the world. Um, you're an amazing individual. I, I love your story. And uh, you, I mean, I'm inspired. So so thank you for, for thank you. personally for inspiring me. I, I appreciate you very much. Thank you all for having me today. I really appreciate it. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by Duralane, a single injection that may provide up to six months relief from osteoarthritis knee pain. Risks can include general knee pain and pain at the injection site. You can see full prescribing information at Duralane.com. Thanks for listening to this episode of the DECA series on Spartan Up podcast. Spartan Up is your partner in resilience for mind, body, and spirit. We're here three days every week. Tuesdays, you can find Joe DeSena, founder and CEO of Spartan, interviewing biohackers, business leaders, authors, and athletes. Thursdays and Saturdays, catch episodes from our DECA, Endurance, Trail, Combat, and La Ruta series. Do you know someone who needs a little nudge? Maybe they could use some motivation, tactics, to be stronger, healthier, happier, more successful. Tell them about our show. And if you're watching on YouTube, leave us a comment. We want to know who's watching and who's listening. Thanks. See you next time.